Let's look at the book of Jeremiah chapter 5. I love this prophet. Uh, he reminds me so much of the prophet Micah. And what I think they have in common, it's in the way they express the anger or the wrath of God. You can just tell that it, they're not only messengers, but they actually feel what God is saying. And I think this is what we're missing in our time. We miss the prophets of God who act on behalf of God. Not just messengers. A messenger is someone who just delivers a message, but a prophet or a man of God must express the disapproval of God. And this is why you will find uh, that Jeremiah used to also express himself uh, literally. <laughs> when he was angry, when he was delivering uh, destruction, a message about destruction, he would, you know what, make sure he tears his clothes and that he acts in the way that he should. Oh my goodness. This is what, you, what we mean by prophetic. Hallelujah. Let's look at the, 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 the book of Jeremiah chapter 5 and if you read from the top you'll hear how God is angry and how he disapproves of his people now forsaking him because the truth of the matter is that God has never forsaken us but we have forsaken him how have we done that you ask here you will read about how God has seen his people idolizing their own habits, idolizing the internet, idolizing social media. I'm referring in terms of the modern times, but in the olden times, they made their own gods. You know what? They 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 they, they followed after the false leaders. Oh my goodness. And this is why God was so angry. And he even promised them that outsiders will come and take away their wealth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I want to just read uh, today in verse 25 where God says, Your iniquities have turned these things away. Now what things? He was referring to good things. If you read in verse 24, he talks about... Um, God was able to give us the rain in the right season, in the right times. How often, how many times, if you remember my brother, my sister, that God delivered the good blessing in your life at the right time. God never disappoints. That's why I say God has never forsaken us. In each season, he delivers the good that we need. Hallelujah. He says at the appointed time, God was delivering. He sent rain in times of harvest. He sent, you know what, good blessings. He sent you a weight when you needed motivation. He sent you shelter or he gave you shelter when you needed uh, protection. Hallelujah. He became a shield for you when you needed protection. He became a healer when you were sick. God always showed up at the appointed time that we needed him. God never disappointed us. Now God says, you have deprived yourself of this blessing because of your iniquities. That's why he says, your iniquities have turned these things away and your sins have withheld good from you. What a hard pill to swallow. It is the truth. In these days when we are sick, we get sick indefinitely we don't even find healing you can even go to the doctors these days when you need a miracle or a, a financial breakthrough you don't find it because your sins have withheld the good from you hallelujah and this is what god say hallelujah he says your sins have stopped these good things you have not received the blessing from god because of your iniquities now what God is saying here, he says, I had set up the appointed times for you to get your blessing. I had set out the appointed time for you to get rain at harvest time, for you to get protection when the enemy was attacking you, for you to get healing when your, you know what, your flesh was failing you, for you to get breakthrough when you needed something or when you are starting something new. God had already set 
up the appointed times for us to get the blessing in time of need. But now we no longer get them. Brothers and sisters, even if you can fast for 40 days or even more, even if you can do rituals, spiritual rituals, or go from left to right, from corner to corner, brothers and sisters, there is no way around this. The Bible clearly states that your sins have withheld the good blessing of God from you. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, God's blessing is a process of principle. God does not continue to bless. He will not continue to bless you if you block it with your iniquity. God's principle is straightforward. It's like a contract that clearly states that you will continue to receive the blessing as long as you continue to worship God alone and you do not mix him with other idols. As long as you continue to have reverence and obey the, the commandments of the Lord. God is serious in the, in the business of principle. You cannot cheat him. Hallelujah. Now, if you think about it, cheating God is cheating ourselves because now we have withheld the blessing that came at the appointed time because of our iniquities. Hallelujah. That's why God, if you read in verse 21, he says, you are foolish people. You do not understand what you have done. Brothers and sisters, going astray or derailing from the path of the Lord, it's an injury to yourself. You are basically blocking out your own future. You are doing this harm for yourself, to yourself. God is not to blame. Now I've I've, I've seen Christians now, they, 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 they start, you know what, throwing stones at the devil. It is the devil. He has infiltrated us. The devil is attacking us. But what did you do to block it out? I love these words where he says, you have withheld the blessing of the Lord yourself. You yourself, you have withheld it. Brothers and sisters, it is up to you to release and withhold. That's why the Bible says, Jesus said, I give you the power and the authority to now bind and lose whatever blessing you you want. Whereas you lose it here on earth, it shall be done so in heaven. Now your iniquities... Oh, Matara Baba Keterebosia. Brothers and sisters, God is serious about continuing to bless you. The only thing standing in the way is filth, it's sin. God hates sin with all his heart. If you read all the prophetic books, there is nothing that made God angry, angrier than sin. Especially the sin of idolizing other things besides God. God is a jealous God. If you now start idolizing social media over God, if you now, you know what, committing your time to other things besides God, that's when you block out the blessing, the continued blessing. I love this. God continues to bless us in time of need. Now, the reason we don't find or we don't find the continual blessing is because of our iniquity, of our transgression, of our sin. Oh, hallelujah. And if you continue to read the entire chapter, God is talking about a curse. He says, now I'm taking everything away from you. Oh, hallelujah. May God help us, my brother. May God help us, my sister. God is frustrated. He says, why can you not see that you are doing this to yourself? He says, you have eyes, but you do not see. Read verse 25. He says, you have ears, but you cannot hear. Oh, hear me, oh my foolish people. You are foolish because you are doing this to yourself. Brothers and sisters, let's repent. I don't know about you, but I would like to continue receiving the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord is continual. It does not stop. The protection of the Lord, the healing, the deliverance, the breakthrough, it is continual. It is not by chance. God has made sure that we have a steady flow of blessing coming through our way. 
hallelujah it's a continual stream now it is up to you to make sure that stream continues in your life if you want to continue receiving the blessing of the lord in your life it it's up to you bless you my brother bless you my sister